How's it going, friends? Chris Card's back through the mail Monday. Once again, five returns for you today on this beautiful Monday afternoon here in the Willamette Valley. We've got Tampa St. Pete forwarded from my old address, so I'm glad the forwarding is working. I was a little stressed out about some of the returns that are out there. In fact, I extended my forward in for another 18 months. I had to pay like 40 bucks for that, but uh, that'll ensure any uh, long shot successes will get to me eventually, hopefully, at least within the next year or two. Chris, sorry for the delay. We've got Mr. Andy McGaffigan on a index card with a pretty sweet signature and a John 316 Bible verse quote on there as well inscription and we've got 87 tops andy mcgaffigan there it is guys 11 year career drafted in the sixth round in 1978 by the yankees got into a couple of games before the yanks shipped him off to the gigantes for doyle alexander went from there to the expos to the reds back to the giants back to the expos and he ended up his career with the kc royals andy mcgaffigan great signer took a while i guess didn't take as long as my record but uh, not quite a year, I do believe. But nice to get this back. These cards are beautiful. And, of course, the 87 Tops card signed for my set. There's his information. Yes, yeah, Steve Balboni and Andre Robertson. I think Andre, through past pros, is probably 10 bucks. Steve Balboni is gratis. Of course, he's only one card per. So can get this card finished off, which is why I sent it. Andy is $5 a card. So keep that in mind, and that is it for our first return of the day. Good start. Let's move on to return number two. Cali, Santa Ana to be exact. Santa Ana, California, our second return right here. We've got some card savers in here from the feel of it. I do believe this is going to be Mr. October getting it back in October. We've got Mr. Reggie Jackson right there on a 74 tops card. Also signed for my set, Willie Stargell on there. Not going to get that completed, unfortunately. Playoff card from 74 tops as well, signed beautifully, as well as an 84 tops card along with Nettles and Simmons. So that one will be interesting to get completed, but that is possible. And let's see here. We've got a card stuck. Oh, there. Let's put that over there. Very nice to get this back. $100 a card for Mr. Reggie Jackson. There was rumors floating around that he was now requesting $150 a card for a non-rookie card auto. And I sent these off immediately after reading that. I think I sent these three and four more off. So I'm still waiting on four more. And um, didn't want to send them all together, of course. Put all my eggs in one basket. That would be kind of scary. But got these back. These look great. This was also forwarded from my old address. Yeah, my mail was just sitting in there for four or five days. And I saw this in there. And I didn't get over to get the mail out of the mailbox. So I went to the post office. I mean, I went to the mailbox uh, like the day after it started forwarding. And all the mail was gone. And I'm like, where's my mail? So I went to the post office and I'm like, is it common for the mail carrier to just take all the mail out? I'm like, where does it go and when will I get it? So I guess it went up to Seattle. Uh, and of course, uh, once the forwarding kicked in, um, it was forwarded to me and I got this stuff. But I was uh, I was stressing for a few days, guys. Uh, I knew I knew through informed delivery that it was sitting in my mailbox. Informed delivery, by the way, you can sign up for on USPS.com and they scan your flats every day and you get an email every morning basically telling you what to expect in the mailbox that day. It's pretty accurate. Sometimes it's a day or two off, but pretty neat little thing. And I knew that my Reggie's were sitting in there because I knew it was from Santa Ana, California, and I was, uh, I was a little stressed. I knew my check was cashed, so... Check to the Mr. October Foundation, by the way. That's who I wrote it out to. And I figured even if maybe he did raise his prices, he's just not going to send me back the $300 check, is he? Uh, that's money right there. That's easy money. So I'm glad he cashed a check and went to charity and uh, I got my card signed. So awesome return from Mr. Reggie Jackson. Let's move on. Return number three. North Houston, Texas, our next return here. There you guys go, right there on the envelope. In case you doubted me. We've got, uh, we've got quite a few cards in here, I think. We've got Kyle Drabeck. Kyle Drabeck, son of former Cy Young Award winner Doug Drabeck. In fact, one of only three sons to make it to the big leagues of former Cy Young Award winners. The others being, of course, Vance Law and Cam Bedrosian. Of course, Vern Law and Steve Bedrosian, also Cy Young Award winners. Their children made it to the bigs. Unfortunately, Kyle did not have that great of a, a career, not the career he wanted Coming up with Toronto, spending four years with them, and then spending a, uh, a little bit of time with the White Sox in Arizona after that. Great signature from him. Looks like I got an identical card up there, but one's got some color on it. Very nice signature. Very nice to get these cards signed, including the Bowman uh, the foil card there. Looks awesome. So Kyle Drabeck, great signer. Nice to get these back. Good on you, Kyle. Let's move on to our next return. 
Our next return is from San Diego, California, a wonderful place to visit, complete with my Santa stamp on here. And we have, as I slowly open this envelope, making sure I don't rip anything, we've got the legendary Fred Lynn, unsigned 84 tops card, and did I get it? I got it. I got the blue index card. Now, some might see this as a failure. I fully expected to not get a signed card returned, although I would... I tried, uh, did not work, but I got the blue index card. If you want a Fred Lynn autograph for zero dollars, he will send you a blue index card, and uh, it varies from his other signatures. Another blue index card, so it is live ink. Very happy to get this back from Fred Lynn. I think I did, or I think I got him already through a private signing. He's usually about thirty to forty dollars a card via a private signing, so that's why I gave it an old stab in the dark and wrote him a nice note. But did not work. Mr. Lynn stuck to his guns there, and I just got the customary blue index card with a signature on it. So Fred Lynn, not in a Hall of Fame. He's in the Boston Red Sox Hall of Fame, though. Pretty much Fenway was built for him, uh, and of course some injuries led to the fact that uh, they just did not view his career as a Hall of Fame career. But uh, the Red Sox did. And uh, there you guys go, Fred Lynn, if you are into blue index cards, then that is the request you need to send off stat. So, Fred Lynn, let's move on to our fifth and final return of the day. Fort Myers, Florida, our fifth and final return of the day. Thanks, everyone, for joining me on this week's Through the Mail Monday. Hit that subscribe button on the bottom right of your screen while you're here. Do this every Monday. And we've got a signed signature card of Rich Becker. Rich Becker, a former third round draft pick in 1990 of the Minnesota Twins. Two collector's choice cards from 94. And of course, there's a big void of cards when I moved from New Jersey to Oregon because I could not find baseball cards out here. So I just stopped collecting them. Plus, I didn't have any money. So, you know, I couldn't afford it anyway, even if I could find them. So there you guys go. Rich Becker, uh, eight years in the bigs. Uh, not a bad career. Decent career. Uh, only have this one card of his. I offered him the extra, which he decided to just sign and send back as well as the signature card. I'm sure he's got lots of sweet cards out there of the mid to late 90s that I do not have that I could have gotten signed. So uh, there you guys go. He's got an updated address, and there you guys go for the updated address. Rich Becker, eight-year career, former two-sport athlete back in high school. He was a stud both as a quarterback and as a baseball player. Better baseball player, though. So he went on to become a, a, a coveted draft pick of the Minnesota Twins. In fact, he was the only guy in the 1990 draft who went in the third round and had any kind of major league career whatsoever. So... I would look at that 30, that 90 draft and look at that third round and see if who's in there. But uh, I guess I wouldn't recognize anybody, but probably Rich Becker. So uh, I guess I won't do that. So there you guys go. Through the mail on Monday. Put it in the books. Thanks for watching, guys. October baseball is in full swing, of course. We've got the Astros and who? The Texas Rangers. Mad Max will be pitching. we got the Filthies and we've got Arizona. Going to have some great showdowns in the ALCS and the NLCS. Should be fun to watch. Uh, the Phillies and Braves series was pretty fun. I really can't believe the Braves. Um, their season ended just like that. They looked awesome all year. Uh, the Phillies, of course, just um, they have that filthy attitude where they just they refuse to die. They refuse to quit. They might not win the division, but if they can get in the playoffs, they might just make it all the way. So that would be terrible. I would hate that. So I'm not a Philly fan. I'm a Mets fan. And, of course, you Philly fans hate us Mets fans. So uh, it, it is what it is. I mean, I don't hate the fans per se. Um, I just think they're just all terrible. So um, that's it, guys. Through the mail Monday. Nice haul. Check it out. Reggie. Fred Lynn index card, which did not make the photo. Uh, nice to get these all back. Hope everyone out there liked the video. Hit that subscribe button. If you haven't done so already, I do this every single Monday, hence the name of the title of the video, Through the Mail Monday. Thanks, guys, again, for watching, and see ya.